Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to thank you all for joining me for another video. Anyways, it's been a couple of weeks, um, haven't been feeling well, been having issues with my colitis, um, so haven't really been filling up to doing any videos. Anyways, so today we're going to go ahead and do a shave with a couple of new products to the den that happen to go ahead and be... Um, so a couple of late Father's Day gifts from my girlfriend. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the razor and the brush. The razor is my 65 Chic Corona with the black handle. This is an absolutely wonderful razor. I absolutely love it. I ended up paying 20 bucks for it um, with the case up Northern California. Um, and it just, it's... It's in phenomenal condition. One of my favorite razors um, for milder razor. The brush is going to be from the one that was sent by Dennis in that last fifth box. And it is, it looks like the Omega 10066 when you look at the handle, because it's got this faux ivory handle. But if you look at the knot, that is actually the Omega High, a synthetic knot. So it's the Omega High brush. I can't remember the number of it. Um, that's the razor and the brush. The soap is going to be Razor Rock um, Alchemy. First time I used it, I fell in love with the scent. It could, and, and it it's definitely in my top three. It knocked. It may have knocked Hump Day from one to two as far as scent wise goes as far as how much I like it. And I'll be following that up with the matching splash. So let's go ahead and let's wet the face and get this, or wet the brush, get it loaded and get this shaver going. God, I love the scent of this stuff. It is just beautiful, beautiful scent. With this being a synthetic brush, don't have to worry about soaking, of course. Here's the Omega High Brush. Not in the Omega High Brush, is it as good of a knot as, say, the Razor Rock Plus Soft? No. Um, is it as good of a knot as the Pure Second Tip? It's better, I think. Um, to me, the pure satin tip, which I have one, and I like it, but it's a bit on the scritchy side. Go ahead and get a little bit of water. It's a little on the scritchy side. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I really do. So I hope all of you had a happy 4th of July. I hope all of you still have your fingers. Um, we had some, quite a bit of a fireworks show going on here on my street. Anyway, let me wet the face. And I remembered this time. Let me draw my hands. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements The Cube. This is their, I can't remember. It's their mentholated one. And then, this was also sent to me by Dennis. And it's a great product, I really, really like it. I will definitely probably always have one of the cubes in the den. Let's, let's soap off that. All right, rinse off the hands. Go ahead and dry them here. 
There we go. Um, some of you might have heard of the series of earthquakes that struck near where I live. The earthquakes were pretty much near the pretty much well near the city of Ridgecrest, California. Um, they had a six point something. I forget what the other. I think a five point something, and they had a seven point something. And uh, people felt it pretty far away, I guess. Um, from what I understand, some people, it was reported to be felt all the way out uh, Arizona. Uh, the town I grew up in, Lake Isabella, California. Um, from what I understand, uh, Bombs grocery store had a lot of glass hit the floor and shattered. Um, there were some fires. Um, the hospital in Ridgecrest, they said that um, they evacuated it. I know normally I've been cutting away for this part. Well, uh, they evacuated it because they thought that there was structural damage to the hospital. So. I was up and about. walking around when the first one was felt. I really didn't notice it because I was too involved in what I was doing, feeding my dogs. Um, I kind of slept in a little bit. Wasn't feeling the greatest, but. My girlfriend wasn't feeling the greatest, so dogs we got to the dogs a little late not too late though I love this razor razor is just gliding right along along this alchemy and, um, these pulse silver blades I can't remember how many shades is on this one since I can't see what blade I got going on. Um, what the blade is as far as being wrapped or name on the wrapper. I try not to run too many different blades at once. So, but it's just cutting nice. I got about two, three, I got about three days of growth. But, um, Second quake, I didn't feel it, but my son was here in the bathroom. Um, sitting on the toilet. And uh, I felt my couch start to kind of hop a little. Not really hop, but kind of move up and down and side to side. My son was, Dad, um, the toilet's moving, the door's moving, and the towels are wiggling, it's, it's, it's moving. So, I asked him if he was done pottying, and he said, yeah, and I said, get off the toilet and get in the doorway.
my girlfriend, she was laying down because, you know, she's got some ear infection thing going on. So I uh, yelled at her, and she's like, what? And I said, if the bed starts moving too much more, get in the doorway. So, but luckily it didn't kick off worse. for a little bit I was haven't been watching other youtubers videos trying to get back into that Sinatra Lennon gave away a fat boy giveaway is hoping that somebody from overseas would win it and um, he is the random picker.org whatever it's called and he was rewarded some guy in the UK so they got themselves a beautiful 1960 first quarter or second quarter I can't remember which quarter actually but at that point decent feedback on this razor yeah <laughs> yeah it's the last piss box I get from Dennis um, I'll go ahead and I got, well, I thought I got three tubes of shea cream. One was a, uh, what do you call it, Narco? One moment, guys, let me grab something. Oh, uh, the picture's looking better on this video. It's because I'm using my i my iPhone success. But anyways, so hopefully that makes a little bit better picture. But anyways, um, palm olive, the Orco palm olive, and. Quick show. See old Bigelow. Well, anyway, when I first got it, I went ahead and uh, tried to do a video using the early turn and shave brush that he sent me. I can't remember which razor and the CO Bigelow. And um, I'll tell you when I get back. Just do a quick paint on here. Anyways, so I'll go ahead and I'll put shaving cream up in the uh, top of the brush. Like I do usually with I uh, when I have a shaving cream in a tube. And uh, I start to lather. Well, before I'm even part way down with my face, I realize, wow, this stuff is really, really thin. It's, you know, just running out the knot, down the handle, and as so, 
distracted by that. I didn't notice one important thing. So, um, I felt like, what the heck? It took me forever to rinse it out of my brush. I just, you know, stopped filming the video and just chucked it in an earlier video. I went ahead and I explained that a little bit. But chucked the video and just recorded a different day. So yeah, that gets me close. This Corona with this blade, it's a good pair of herring. Um, soap's doing real nice too. So anyways, um, God, I love the scent of this alchemy. So anyways, I tried it again, last shave, and, uh, same, same results, but this time I noticed as I'm rinsing, it's foaming up really bad in the water or in the sink. Uh, so, of course I'm stubborn. So I finish out the face shape and the head shape. I'm noticing, God, this stuff is real thin. So, I finally get done with the shave and get it all rinsed out and cleaned up and take the tube to my girlfriend. I'm like, Babe, does this say it's a brushless shave cream or what? Because I thought maybe, and maybe it's that thin for that reason, but still I was stumped on how bad it was foaming up. Well, she looks at the tube and she reads, Seal Bigelow hair and body wash. So I basically shaved with body wash. Um, it's a good body wash. It's a great body wash. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah. So I am. Um, Will not be shaving with it again. So. If you ever get a pip, if you ever pip any shave gear from somebody, boys and girls. Um, and you get anything in a tube. And you're thinking it's shaving cream. If it's uber thin. Well. And it's fizzing up really bad. Then you might have yourself a thing of body wash on your hands. So, anyways, you know, there we go. A little bit of buff in here. Decent residual slickness. Of course, you know. There's your rocks, real good stuff. It's a nice croak. So, anyways, that's the shave. I'll see you back here for the post. Well, I gotta say, that was quite an enjoyable shave, guys. Um, it's Razor Rock soap. If you've used Razor Rock, you know how it performs. Um, some people don't like them, some do. I happen to be one that does. Um, the other soaps my girlfriend got me when she got me this was Nomad, which was um, from Razor Rock was Nomad, and uh, Barbershop. And she got me the matching Barbershop Splash. Um, not the Nomad Splash, so I haven't used that one yet. But if I like it, I'll probably get the Splash. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's do the post. Um, the Corona. 65, 66, I can't remember. I gotta look at the case again. Um, or look in my records of my razors, my catalog I keep, so to speak. Um, oh, Dickinson's Witch Hazel feels great on the face. Um, you know, I'm 
I'm not sure if I said it, but for everybody who experienced that Ridgecrest earthquake, if you ever come across this video, um, sorry for any, any loss you might have suffered, and I hope you all doing all right. Anyways, so, um, let's go ahead. Let's see which bomb do I want to use? Which bomb? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to use this here Gillette one. I like it. Gillette aftershave bomb. But, um, the Corona always shaves great. Uh, persona, not Persona. Pulse Silver Super Iridium. Great blade. Wonderful blade. Um, like I said, not sure what use, number use it is. Mm, I like this Gillette bomb. It's got a nice, nice scent. Nice, nice scent. There we go. Got the excess into my arms. But, uh, yeah. The, and that brush, that Omega High brush, you know, I like it. It's a cool little brush. It's a good little brush. Works well. Now, let's go with the splash. Yep, here we go. Mm. Doesn't take much. Of course, me, I kind of go a little overboard sometimes. Good restrictor in these bottles. These razor rock bottles, real nice restrictor. Ooh, got some burn. But, it's fine. Mm. It only burns for a second or two. Anyways, so that is the shave. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. Um, for all 77 of you who have been subscribed, who's, who's staying with my channel, you know, thanks for not sitting there going and unsubscribing. So anyways, y'all take it easy. Not only will I see you in the next video, but I shall also see you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.